Hello. So you may have known that a couple of years ago we developed a system named Mood Detector and it has evolved a little bit into a system named Emotions Analyzer and we developed some or released some APIs for public to use. The main purpose of this project was to be able to generate some insights um, of possible words of hints of uh, tendencies of suicidal behavior or um, depression based on, uh, on your social data, the one you have to input. The purpose was to help um, people working in psychology have more insights when they are doing therapy. Uh, however, the technology used behind this is uh, basically Azure, um, at least some of the basic functionality is based on Azure Cognitive Services we, and Text Analytics, which can be, which is mostly used for customer satisfaction. So you can also use this technology for uh, inspecting, for example, the comments that you have in your social, uh, your business Facebook page, for example, if you have them already in a spreadsheet. So basically what you do is you input the URL of the XLSX file that you want to analyze, the email where you want your uh, results, you choose the spreadsheet you want to analyze, you choose the column from that spreadsheet you want to analyze, you need a column with a unique ID and a column with a date because those are actually some of the data required to generate the graphics, the charts. And the column with sentiment is basically a place, an empty column and that's just the placeholder. So because that's where we will have the sentiments when we get the results. Uh, since it was based on Facebook, we also had a place worship uh, a placeholder, and then we convert the file. It will basically analyze the file and send the results to your email. So in a couple of seconds, I will probably receive a new email where. <coughs> I'll probably receive a new email with my updated or with my results. This is a modified spreadsheet which have more columns than more spreadsheets than just the ones we saw. Currently the system is limited to 100 rows for demonstration purposes but you see these are the original um, text and this is the field sentiment column. This is the place sentiment with the field place sentiment column. So it's linking the actual sentiment to a place, to a latitude, longitude, the URL of that place. So you have an idea of, uh, you can link the data. It also gives you some information such as for personality, for openness, consciousness, you see here the tables, but you can also see the uh, graphics, for example. You see that in personality, we have things such as openness, consciousness, which are these uh, tabs. And you will see that here we have some openness graph chart, uh, some charts for consciousness, some charts for extraversion, some charts for agree uh, agreeableness, some emotional range charts, behavior information, the actual needs, a needs chart, some consumption preference information, um, <coughs> these are kind of summarized values for each of these this for well for values okay this is the one chart for values the detected languages for each of the sentences that we have or actually for each of the pieces of portions of text that we found 
So most of this is actually in Spanish. Some key phrases. So we have there here some key phrases. We have these, 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 these are actually all words in Spanish. Uh, some sentiment in there. Some key phrases. And the sentiment over time, which gives you an idea of how much the sentiment has been changed or how much it has fluctuated over the uh, time. And uh, you can add a trend line in here and you can see the actual trend line, trend line, how it is going, if it's going up, if it's going down, or what is the actual trend in there. Here you see all of the, of the uh, fluctuations. And that gives you some good insights when you put together all the data and you analyze it. Uh, in order to generate some file like this, you can also use the Facebook Data Converter. And let's see, we have this JSON file. And we send. We send the file and when this finished we can either download it here in this case or we can um, we can see it here this is the original file converted from the JSON this is a demonstration application we are going to actually to publish the whole application or the whole system in a couple of weeks uh, for you to to use and you can also develop applications by using our APIs based on that functionality by using the Emotions Analyzer API and the Facebook Data Converter API. I hope this is useful for you. Let us know any more functionality that you may want to have in our systems and in our APIs and have a great day. Thanks for watching.